I mean, you're kind of like the Aaron Judge of cable television. I asked Stu to be my agent because he's done that before. Correct. Stu says, I will not be your agent. He can't get you enough? (laughs) He's like, I have no leverage here. I've got a bad product to deal with. Good morning. How's it going? How are you doing? Uh, My first winter meetings. What do you think of our, Uh, our, our little world here? So you guys have a good setup. There's a lot of standing around here. Have you noticed that? And, and you, it, your guys are busy, right? But I even for and, me to get here. And, 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 and everybody's on the phone acting like something's going on. Scrolling, looking around. Yeah. And you know, the other thing, too, is how many of us really only know each other from seeing each other, you know, or conversing on social media or seeing each other on a screen or whatever. So then when you see somebody in person, it's like you get that weird. I know you, but I don't know you. And I know your face, but I, I don't know you. So there's all these awkward interactions, at least personally speaking. So <laughs> there's a lot of catching eyes with people. And you're like, do I, I, do, I, I do know you. Wait, we don't know each other, but I, I know of you. So, uh, yeah, this is, um, I guess, if we get like some blockbuster news, if we get that judge news, I'll be interested to see what this place looks like. But as for now, until then, it's a lot of standing around. All right. So, two, so 2019, the winter meetings were here. Yeah. We were in the exact same location. Okay. Yes Network was in this, the exact same location. Uh-huh. Yep. And that's when Garrett Cole signed. What was that like? Like a bomb went off. <laughs> you you would have thought the president of the United States was coming through, and here comes the Secret Service. I mean, it was. Was just, there a motorcade? Involved it it in was this? pandemonium. Uh. So if that go, if the judge thing goes down, it will be it, it will be huge. I know you got a lot of uh, uh, people that from NBC that are here. Our, about gi- that. our giant side. Hey, how do how do we feel about all this? We let, let's just be honest. Do we care? Do we want him to be a giant? Do we want him to stay a Yankee? Do we, do we want him in the opposite league? Just get him out of that. Do we want him in the Bay Area? Uh, Is that just another shadow we're going to have to live under? Yeah, for, uh, I don't want him in San Francisco. Let's years. be honest. I don't want him there. He's 31, though. He's not going to last 15. <laughs> but I don't want he, – he's going to dominate the coverage for, like, the rest of our 100%, career. 100%. 100%. Because we will retire, right? Actually, I'll, uh, I probably won't. No. I got it. If Korak's not retiring, I'm not retiring. I'm just, I'm just, I look at it to where the last thing I want to do is everything about every, every, every moment, everywhere I go, I don't want to be about the Giants and Aaron Judge. I I like it when the Giants are not good. Can I tell you my biggest disappointment so far? I, uh, I tried to secure a Rob Manfred interview. How'd that work? (laughs) One sentence reply from Major League. Actually, two sentences. I think the first one was cordial. Thank you so much for your interest. We appreciate you. You Coverage, da-da-da. The commissioner will be unavailable. That was, how many words? The commissioner will be, five words. Well, what would be great is, is you've done, you've been doing a great job, by the way, with your YouTube channel, interviewing the potential mayors. Yeah. And now we have a mayor. Shang Tao. Yeah. So how do you feel you've got Lauren Taylor was the favorite. Right. Didn't and he, win. he actually had more, if, if I'm correct here, more votes, but in ranked choice voting, that's not the way it works. It was so tight. Like most so first place votes, but he didn't win the Heisman. <laughs> you know what? I never thought about it that way. <laughs> right. But it, it is. And, and that's why it took, what, more than a week to figure and sort all this out. I mean, and, and it really was razor thin, the margin of, of, of how she won. But well, look, that's the way it is. And that's what happened. Everybody's asking. So what does that mean for Howard Terminal? First off, we should all establish Oakland has some other issues it needs to resolve. And, and a new mayor or just any mayor has a lot of responsibilities in that. But as for the piece of the pie that we care about, the ballpark, the negotiations, so she's somebody who's not even been in the the conversation, in the direct dealings with the baseball team and the city. She's allowed staff to do that. That's how all city councils are uh, members are. But now when she gets to the point of being mayor, she will be hands-on. So it's yet to be seen how exactly she will guide this. Obviously, Libby Schaff, did a lot of the heavy lifting to get the process and the project, at least where it is now. Um, I do think Shang Tao is motivated to do this. I think Lauren Taylor was maybe a bit more polished on what he said, how he, how he talked about Howard Terminal versus how Mayor Elect Tao has done it so far. But I don't, I don't want to take anything away from, you know, her motivation to get a good deal done and to get good things happening in Oakland. So I'm, I'm, it's not, it's, it's a different thing than what we've been used to, but it's not a bad thing. One thing that's really interesting about this 
And a lot of people, you may not know, you don't care. brody has been doing a great job keeping you updated on this. Hang on, hang on. You you keep going. Hang on. So has uh, so has Casey Pratt, our buddy Casey Pratt's done a great deal. Yeah, bust that out. Bust that out. Most people have no idea what the well, here in San Diego. Anybody know what this shirt is? But to us, this means something. Anybody know what Howard Terminal is? Nope. Is they don't know. infrastructure money. Oh, yeah. Infrastructure money. It's a sexy pl- conversation, it's play- by the way. It's playing a really big, because the money that's going to be for this project, if the project doesn't go, right, they don't get to then say, well, we're not going to take this infrastructure money and we're going to go somewhere. No, they lose the infrastructure. It's scholarship money. money. Like, I'm giving you the money to go to pick, pick a fancy school. San Jose State. <laughs> Harvard of the West. I think that's only about five grand a year. <laughs> but, okay, but I say Stanford. To, oh, well, now we're up the road a little bit. All right, what is that, 40 grand? So I say, Townie, if you're not going to be a Cardinal, I'm taking that. If, you, if you're going to go to San Jose State and said, you can't pocket the 35 grand a year and use the five for tuition, you have to use it for the ballpark uh, and the project. I, sh- I should take it back. This is not necessarily only for the, the ballpark. This is for the neighborhood. So you're right. And the only criticism against Oakland is that they've been working hard to get these grants from the state and federal levels. And, you know, was their time better spent elsewhere? Was there an opportunity to work on other things? But this is important, too. And I think the bottom line is this is the hard way to do it, to ask the federal government and the state for money. But this is happening and it's made progress. It's still got a ways to go. But this is this is the biggest bottleneck right now of how, how they're going to pay for everything surrounding Howard Terminal. Two things. You mentioned, uh, well, we talked about the commissioner a second ago. You know, Gary Bettman of the NHL showed up to a, a, a city council meeting in Tempe when they had the vote last week to get the Coyotes their new arena in Tempe. I'm not going to put all, and, and this is the reason why I wanted to talk to Commissioner Manfred. At some point, will MLB, I'm not even saying take sides, but will they put a little bit of muscle into this conversation? Will Rob Manfred show up? And, and maybe the time has not yet come where it's necessary. Will he show up to an Oakland City Council meeting? Will he promise the, the city, you know, perks that baseball can give an all-star game of this or that over, over the years, just like Gary Bettman did? I thought that was very interesting that one league literally showed up for its team, you know, in a, in a big vote. And we've yet to really see MLB jump behind, obviously, what the A's have been pushing for in Oakland. That's a great point because they've kind of been the, well, we're going to talk to the national media. Well, we're going to kind of let you know, but where are, where are you in this fight? You've secretly, right. I mean, I can tell you they've Manfred has secretly shown up for meetings in the Bay area when I've known he's going to be in town yeah. at different times. I mean, you're talking about don't, don't show up to the Jack London offices secretly show up. Put your face out well, there. Show up to a meeting. It's, it's kind of like, I mean, go back to another issue, and this was obviously not him as the commissioner, but baseball and steroids. Like, they, did they not know things were happening? Did they no. just go, well, just look the other way? And I feel like right now, with Howard Terminal so far, hey, let's let, you know, we're going to we're gonna pressure you. We're going to say, hey, we need you in Tampa to get your stuff straight, but we're also not going to tell you where, what to go, where to do. We're not going to help you. We're, we're just going to say you take care of it. I, I would love to see you know, their, their, uh, input, their, you know, their, their influence on this. You know, I walked by Petco park yesterday and it, I don't know why it never struck me before. If that place didn't get built in the early two thousands, would the Padres still be in San Diego? Like Jack Murphy was falling apart. What does that remind you of? San Diego lost the chargers. San Diego lost a professional basketball team. What does that remind you of San Diego and Oakland? Different in many ways, but sporting wise and what they did to keep the Padres. And now you walk around there and they have they only got their first like real good season in that ballpark this past year. But ever since then, the atmosphere has been electric. Look at the buildings and condos and development that's gone up. I mean, it it literally is a blueprint for for what Howard Terminal could be. And I, it's crazy. I mean, I, I've been talking about this for months now, but when I just came down here and walked the neighborhood again, I, I hadn't been down in, I don't know, a couple of years. 
but it just it struck me all over again like we're looking at literally the the blueprint right there yeah and what people need to understand too is that yeah it's a fight because dan here in san diego there was opposition it, yeah. it was two years it's the reason why tony gwynn never got to play in the stadium because right. it got pushed back two years right, right but the reality is the gas lamp the gas lamp was always where the super bowl parties would be right but once they built petco it completely changed downtown right so when you have and i and i read the stuff coming out of oakland and i hear what people say and they're but it's like you want to go okay if you don't want to just look across the bay at san francisco right this is a place that you can look at to say okay what happens if you build a new ballpark what happens if you go all in right you make that commitment this is a great example of what can happen to your downtown to howard terminal to that whole area i mean the fact that you'd be building on the port which which has never really thought of as a possibility no. what that could do for it's, the city. It's and- hard to even get that approved. And quite honestly, that part of this process has already happened. The approval, the land designation, like the hardest parts of this are already in the bag. Um, you know what else Petco Park has right next to it? Dare I say, <gasps> train tracks. Oh, my goodness. That's such I a problem. I walked across them today. That's such a problem. And, and, and look, that is something the opposition just has as a as a tactic or whatever and it's been talked about uh i crossed them too yesterday back and forth i mean they they literally built that ballpark within uh, a baseball's throw of of a, of, a, of a full rail yard over there so if it can be done here and it's it's lived on for almost 20 years now i'm pretty confident we can build a replica, an even better replica. It's almost like we need to get a bunch of Southwest flights for everybody in Oakland and bring them down and say, <laughs> "Look at this!" Uh, no, this seriously, is, this is what we're talking seriously, about. Seriously, I okay. I I made a video yesterday. It's going to go up on NBC today. I, I did a walking tour, and I'm not here to say that I'm rehashing all my material from the video, but, but please promote this is no, your audience. No, I don't even. I don't. Even, I'm not this even. This audience no, loves you. I just want to give your Brody Brazil. I, I'm trying for to. Give, I'm trying to give you the best thoughts and content and and perspectives on it and that's what this is right this is you're right this needs to be this needs to be shared with people back home like they need to be reminded of what while we're here while baseball is here um they need to be reminded of of what could be possible and like what it looks like when it's done because right now what we've seen renderings we've heard this we've heard that aerial shots you know but like let's see what it could look like when completed You know, going back to my time with the Raiders, and I always dealt with this, and I say this a lot now with the A's, is, you know, when there's a lot of naysayers and a lot of people tell you why it's not going to be a good deal, I always think about, tell me why, if the team leaves, how it's good for the city. You Like I said before, do you think the Padres, you know what else I saw? On this date in, like, 74, the Padres almost went to Washington. I I didn't even know. I don't even know this story. And 74 was way before, you know. Qualcomm, Jack Murphy was outdated, but like, had the Padres not been able to secure this spot, are they still in San Diego right now? Are Probably. they the Vegas Padres? Are they? Did they go to Montreal? Right. Well, at one point, the Padres, the, the Las Vegas Stars, were the Padres long term. Yeah, long time, I should say. Yeah, Triple A team. Yeah, no, I mean it's it, like they've li- they've kind of lived what we're going we're going through right now, so. Yeah, and, and you know where you can also put that too. I mean, not too long ago when they were talking about uh, getting rid of franchises, remember they talked about Minnesota. Yeah, contraction. Uh, they 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 worried about Seattle. I mean, look at Seattle. Look at T-Mobile. We will always remember Safeco. It's just not San Diego. It's just not San Francisco. Right. It's Minnesota. It's right. Seattle. It's all these different cities where where you've built a ballpark, it has not failed the community. Right. Yeah. Show me an example of where it went wrong. Now it's gone wrong, I think, in in the way some some governments pay for it. They regret. I mean, but that's we're, we're we're that's on our table right now. We're we're preventing against that. Like that's that's the whole part of this process is so that there are no regrets for the city of Oakland. Right to your point, yeah. As it's built out, show me an example of where it went wrong. There's not one. It's it has gone wrong, I think, financially. But that again, that's that's the that's why this is taking longer to get right, so that we don't have you know, that issue in retrospect. Is there anything since you've been really on this and investing, investigating this, is there anything that's out there that is just completely false, but the people who don't want the ballpark to happen, just keep hammering this, that we need to educate people. on. Yeah. There's been a few things, but they change over time, right? At first it was 
the port can't survive if you take away these 55 acres. And then like federal or, or, or uh, regional judges say, no, that's actually not true. Or the port of Oakland says, no, that's actually not true. And then it's, well, the train tracks are in the way. And then they say, well, we can safely mitigate that. We've got examples. And then they say, um, it's going to take away money from Oakland schools, or it's going to raise your taxes if you live in Oakland. And that's like, no, that's what an infrastructure tax district is like. It's going to pay for itself. So it, it's been one thing after the next, to be honest with you. I can't even pinpoint one. So it's kind of a moving target. But the good news is, and I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this, for those who are watching and saying, oh, my gosh, is this going to be another multiple years? I mean, I don't know the answer, but I'll tell you this. Look in the rear view. Look how much progress has been made two years ago. Uh, we were not, this was not even on the table. I mean, this was, Howard Terminal was not a discussion for the Oakland City Council, for Alameda County Board of Supervisors. It was nowhere near important places. And now it's on their, on their doorstep. And it's been there for a while. I mean, it is frustrating to see, like, go back to the NHL. Those Coyotes get a brand new arena approved in a matter of months. <laughs> Here we are years later. Oh, the, I, ti- the Titans uh, have a new football stadium I that's do, going up. I do understand the, uh, you know, comparisons and, and the frustration in that. But at the same regard, it doesn't matter 10 years down the road if, if and when this place is all done. You, you will forget. You actually will forget how long it took. You'll remember it, but it won't rub at you the same way it does right now. And when, when you talk to people like Dave Stewart, who is so involved now because of what his project with Nashville and the Nashville yeah. Stars, they will get a team when we start doing uh, expansion in baseball. As we've talked a lot about on the show, baseball wants to go to 32 teams. But Dave, who cares so much about Oakland, he's from Oakland, he's from that area right around the Coliseum, and, and it means so much to him to really win. I'm doing the show with him, and I'm kind of picking, I'm filling in for you, and I'm picking his brain. I mean, he really fears for Oakland if this doesn't go. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, it, it, people ask me, what would, what would you do next? Heck if I know, I don't really know. I've, I've tried to even not let my brain go there, but I think what you do, what you do realize is that if it goes away, it's just not coming back. So that should be the number one thing that, you know, that scares people. Um, and I mean, you know, even, even in the trends of people say, well, how's it going? I haven't heard anything in a couple of months. You kind of feel the trends of, well, I think it's getting better or, or some milestones happen or, um, you know, you hear about maybe the fact that it Shang Tao used the word unraveling at one point in terms of the city council side of, of viewing a, a deal and things moving forward. So, no, it's I don't you know, you it, it's drug on so long that I think people do get lost in the magnitude of it occasionally. And that's not that's actually that's not good. Right. Because you get numb to it. You get numb to this conversation we're having. I mean, imagine if it doesn't say Oakland there on our backdrop anymore. Right. Like yeah, that's that's a possibility. It's a, real, it's a real thing. I lived it. I was like the last Raiders person. I had the last Raiders <laughs> show. I was working for the team. Right. I did John Gruden on TV. I, bet you, I was I bet the you, last dude. I bet you Cody will go to Las Vegas. I bet you he'll go. He looks like a Vegas guy. Uh, believe it or not, actually, no, I've never gambled. Um, I'm cheap. So money. I did, no, I didn't say you. I just said you look like a Vegas guy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could buy a house. I will say this: my wife would be happy. We could buy a house for oh. a lot cheaper there. You'll well, be. Well, yeah. I mean, we're pro team. We go to Vegas. We go to Vegas. Be, I mean, you'll be penthouse on the strip somewhere. Uh, fans can't fault us. We work for the team, right? I mean, it is what it is. If the team's here, the team's here. The team goes to Vegas, we go to Vegas. It is what it is. But we want it to be heat. I, when I say here, I mean Oakland, right, not San right. Diego. I know what you're saying. But, I mean, it's, it's, that's the tough thing for us. I mean, it's like we – and and you, something popped up on your timeline, though, that I, I went back and watched. And Uh-oh. I believe it was from opening day where – we still call Libby Schaff mayor, right? Yeah, she's mayor in, until uh, January, I think, when Sheng Tao is uh, inaugurated. Okay, so it was opening day. Her and Dave Cavill raised mm-hmm. the flag. Yeah, right. And you did the interview. She was kind of at one point in the interview a little perturbed, and not with you, but no, probably with me. No, she it was it was she was <laughs> spot on. She she didn't want the city council to be able to pass the buck anymore. Right. If you go back and watch it, and I watched the whole thing, and she says this, she goes, listen, they all have full-time jobs. They have full-time salaries. Now, full-time jobs as city council members. They've got full-time right. salaries. Right. They've got a staff to help they them They have out. a full staff, yeah. and they've got everything 
They've got all these different people that they can go to. She called them experts that they can go to yeah. to help them educate them. That's true. For Howard Terminal. So here was the mayor on opening day that said there's not a city council member that can play this they don't know because they're paid to know. They got people who are paid to know around them, and they have they have access to experts who are being paid to give them the knowledge. So when I look at this new mayor elect, I've heard the interview. I well, I, I watched the interview with you, and she's played the. I'm not saying she's bad or good or what. She's played the. I haven't been a part of negotiations. That takes me back to what Libby Schaff said. No, your staff. You've had every. You've had ample ample people around you and information you should know everything you shouldn't have to circle back and figure out anything new i'll i'll stand up for mayor elect shang tao she the council members are just not part of the hands-on like we're in the room where it happens in the but moment they get updated on everything of course, no yeah. and, and she's not saying <clears throat> mayor elect tao is not saying i don't know where this is at she's just saying up till this point I can't give you a firsthand account of like what's really going on, what it's going to take to bridge this gap. I would also say too, I mean, as we are here on the team's network, I also want to say that, you know, it, it, it's going to go both ways, right? The team and the city first have to come to a development agreement and that's negotiations. That's not blaming one side or the other, but you know, the, the team and an agreement is part of this as, as, as much as the city and an agreement are part of this. Um, so that's what's necessary, but I think smoothing it over and you're right, you know, on, on the city side, there are obviously a few council members right now who are just flat out mediocre, if not negative to the project. Yeah. And I won't even name them by name. If you follow this, you know who they are. I think it's, they It might, I don't know if I'm talking singular or multiple. Sometimes there's at least one, there's two, there's at least one. There's and, two. and, and sometimes there's a second, but and I'm not here to talk down i mean this is why you have a council not all of them are going to be your best friend in this or are going to see it your way or whatever um or or it's the way politics works there they are influenced by others to have their have their position um but I, I i don't i don't think the council like if we're grading like how have they done to get it to this point fair enough right a passing grade but maybe to and they're waiting for numbers they're waiting for things to analyze at the same point so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna blame them but yeah it's hard sometimes to also balance what oakland has on its table uh crime school stuff budget stuff police stuff um housing stuff so it I, i'm i'm i am going to take their back a little bit and say it's not been easy but then again how do other places do this so quickly that's probably the question. Well, she promised you that if she did win, she would do more video. Uh, you with saw you. that part? Yes, I told you. I watched. <laughs> I made sure that I. I know. I, I ended it. it with with her and Lauren by saying, "Now, uh, just want to establish here. I'm yeah. a sports guy. You're a politician. But if we could uh, be friends, you know, it's going to help both of us." No, no. Look, I my my thing in all of this is I'm not, I'm I'm pretty clear. Like I have a stance. I'm 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 wearing a damn Howard Terminal shirt here at winter meetings. Did anybody notice this, by the way? Probably, no, probably not. They, they you, like you're right. They don't even know what it is. But um, but these people do, and your people do. That's all that <laughs> I know. But at the same, you know, at the same point, like I, I just I I want to help people understand what's going on. You're right. This is complicated. I favor the project. Even when I talk to a politician, the mayor, I'm going to let her know. Like I favor this. So my questions are going to be along that line. But I also I'm going to be fair about it. Yeah. I don't want Oakland to get. I don't want Oakland to do this and get screwed and then. Uh oh, now we're we're all the bad people for decades to come. I just want it to work for everybody. And I know it can. I know it can. Now, one thing that I thought about, and I don't know how many people watching this right now and are gonna watch it and they're gonna worry like me, is that when you see Brody Brazil in San Diego during hockey season, mm. you kind of go, What the hell's going on? Who's manning the ship well, back with the sharks? Better question is what's gone wrong with the sharks penalty kill? I look at Cody's ears perked up. Like, Cody, there he what's goes. Your answer? I mean, they were number one for a while. They were, Tony, they were killing penalties 91%. The next best team in the, they were the best in the league and they still are. Like the Bruins were at 85 or six. And then the last two games, five out of six periods, they allow a, a goal on the kill. It's just, yeah, it hasn't been good. Um, their season has been rough, but I'm, I'm used to that these days. Yeah, we're, uh... I'm, I'm mopping some things up lately. 102 losses in the baseball season. 
frustrating hockey season. We're so having far. fun though. This is fun. Oh, the two parallels could be Ace to get the number one pick tonight in the draft lottery. Oh, is that Shark, Sharks go get Connor Shark, Bedard. Sharks go get Bedard, and there you go. The <laughs> Bay Area has two number one overall picks. You know what though? Like people have people have asked me, people have commented, like it's been rough for you. How are you, how are you doing with all this? And to be honest, I do care. But if this is as bad as it gets, I still love it. Are you still getting paid? Sometimes. You know, Sometimes. that's why the people are like, oh, my God, you went through a long season. Sometimes. Like, yeah, the, the paycheck's still the same. Well, whether you the, you lose. Look, the work is harder. Let's be honest. You know, and, and I don't. So people have said, well, is it like, what do you guys talk about? I mean, that's us. How about you guys? You you are on for hours and hours at a time. What are you? I'm on until four o'clock today. What do you <laughs> what do you talk about when the when the team goes, you know, in that rough of a stretch? Like that's that's the cool part about it. There's always something compelling and we're fascinated by it. We're, you know, it just when you are what we are, you're never bored, you're never you're never angry at it, even even at its worst. So So you got that going for you. Yeah, I don't know. So uh tomorrow's the next Sharks game. Uh-oh. There there are some flights that are between me and and Laura Britt, who's here covering the Giants. Because she's your backup. She's number one back backup on that. So I don't exactly know how it's I w- I'm supposed to not do anything tomorrow. But if there's some Giants responsibilities, I might be over at the airport a few hours earlier. I don't know. I have no clue. I mean there's a there's a third person involved in this backup. An hour before they drop the puck. How about this? Could I do it remotely from here? Let's let's do broadcasting of the future. You could totally <laughs> We could I'll, we could set you up. I'll hop on Zoom and you know we excuse, excuse me, WebEx and uh you could easily do it. Yeah. Actually, the WebEx stuff that I do for the hits for yeah. instance, I, I have it in my uh do you really? I have it in my in our gear. Well, you could do it from right here with the A's background. It's uh keep yeah. it in the family. Well, the the baseball season where I did sixty pre and post game shows from my house. I I mean don't get me wrong, I love hanging with Stu and Shooty and Bip. But I, it was nice. I huh? liked, <laughs> I liked being in board shorts in my little uh, home studio, and yeah. I could be in the pool like fifty, like show ends. You know, see you tomorrow. You know, A's win five two. I could be in the pool fifteen minutes after I turn off all the lights. It was great. Yeah, two things. Yes, Dave Stewart's coming on at two thirty because Stu's here. Oh, is he coming by? Yeah, yep, there. Just talk to him. Uh, Sharks news. Uh, Aaron Dell back to the Barracuda. Yeah, the oh. goalie acquired in the Brent Burns deal called up. Really? There you go. There's your Sharks update. Wow. That must mean James Reimer's more injured than we thought. Again. Sharks pregame live tomorrow at what, uh, what time? I don't like this because Cody's telling ta- I'm here now distracted. Cody's telling me Sharks news. Well, because right now you're baseball Brody. Yeah, I know. There's I, baseball I, Brody. There's hockey Brody. Hat. I'm Howard Terminal Brazil right now. Uh, and there's stadium Brody. I don't know. I, honestly, like going back to what I'm doing here. Sure. We talked to, I talked to Cox yesterday, a bunch going to talk, I talked to David yesterday, going to do another thing with him today. Um, but I, as for the, as for our team this year, our baseball team, I think it's pretty well. It's like, we can see what, what are the questions here? Does Murph get traded or not? Is Loriano around how long or not? Whatever. A couple injuries, but like, our, we're pretty set, right? Well, Are we, we pretty set. We asked David yesterday. We said, "Tell me how you get better at these meetings." Yeah, right. What's going on? And he told us that there's multiple contracts that offers that are out to free agents. So we're, I mean, everybody's sitting here. Yeah, we're talking Aaron Judge. We're talking Turner. We're talking Correa. We're talking, but there's a lot of guys out there looking for jobs. And as I mentioned, Brody, there's a, there, there's like two ponds. There's this big pond with the big fish. <laughs> And then there's the pond, the smaller pond yeah. with the sweat, but there's good fish in there, right. but it was closed last year. Cause during the lockout, yeah. we weren't able to really fish to there. Do any of that. Yeah. We're able to go back and fish in this pond again. And that's where we do our damage. What, but what, what, what are the Oakland A's here to, to get out of this? Minus maybe seeing what other teams would be interested, interested in like, what, what are we doing? We don't, uh, you, we don't have, we don't have a lot. We don't you have could a be, lot. On you the could agenda. be acquiring at the corners. Maybe. Could be another outfielder. Uh, Caprillion now is shoulder surgery. That, yeah. You're gonna yeah. maybe another starter. Yeah. Always bullpen. We we need more. We need more power arms in the bullpen. There's plenty of stuff that you could do. Acquisitions, you're saying, or are yeah. we or or are, are we promoting from within? Oh no, acquiring. Yeah, in acquiring mode. Not we're not we're not we're not offering eleven years to anybody. <laughs> Which, by the way, after I couldn't believe Trey Turner got eleven. Years, I'm like, I was asking everybody, where are you going to be in eleven years? 
I mean, that Can type, you imagine that? that type of job security is 11 years. Tony, I've, I've been working at NBC or whatever it's always been called. I think I'm coming up on 14 and that's I'm like, wow, this is, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the number. And You're I, last of the Mohicans of the original crew, <laughs> that right? Is, that is true. But 14 is close to one of my point is like, think about that deal for him. He is set for 11 years to your point. What? What were we what were we doing eleven years ago? What year was that? God, I was four two thousand eleven. Thank I was, you. I was <laughs> okay, yeah. I was scared. I was doing scary math. I was thirty nine. <laughs> I mean, that was a long, long time ago. My kids were still young. Yeah. I was married. I wasn't even married the first time then. Yeah, you were he, he wasn't even in his first marriage, wow. let alone into his second. Two life two lifetimes ago. And then I asked him yesterday, I mean, eleven years from now, how many more marriages will he have? Do you think though? Like we're we're saying this from the side of we'll never, A's will never do this for anybody. Did you want them to do that though? Like no. let's say you could line up one of your, who whoever your favorite was of the last ten years, and I'm talking about you. I, I love Chappie. I love Ole. I, I, well, Chris Bassett. Whatever. I just I wouldn't do it. No. I and that's something I've always I've always said on the post game show. Root for the name on the front, not in the back. And I know everybody wants the I want the jersey of my favorite player. I'm like. Would you want Miguel Cabrera? Think about this. He's now, I loved it where he goes, well, I think this is time to end it. Well, after this year and I get 32 more million. <laughs> it's been seven bad years. Right, right. It's been right. seven bad years. Well, for I need him. to milk this one more time. I mean, do we really, it's kind of been a blessing that we haven't been forced to give one of these bad contracts yeah. because none of them have aged well. I mean, how much did the Rangers spend? spend last off season and then i think a couple series where we were playing them they were five wins ahead of oakland you know what i'm saying head to head 38 and i love back. i love you know marcus and seager and all that stuff but what you're looking at like you know you're looking at this the spending versus the results and it'll come for them i'm, I'm scared by the way of this division i know we are what we are but man this division is seattle I mean, you had a They've team. You had a team that just got to the playoffs for the first time in forever. You still have Trout and Otani down there. You've got the Texas teams, like. But that sob Verlander's gone. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Gonna have to deal with him anymore. Just get out of the league, buddy. Get out of the league. So. Well, welcome to our little baseball geek world. Yeah. You, your first time involved in it. Probably yeah. your last. Should I go stand around somewhere? I feel like. Go in the lobby and, act, and get on your phone and look around it's and act bro, like you're talking can, to can people. Can I be honest? It's a bro fest. It is the, it is. It is the broest of Did bro Did you see the bar fest. last night? I walked past it yeah. and I was like, nope, not for me. That was, I commented to somebody that that was like a frat party. That was. It's. Yeah. it's every, oh, hey, Cody, did you see, I, I ran into John Boy. Uh, yeah. they're right down there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I saw them numerous times last night. Yeah, we were talking about. We're, it's funny too, like because, like I said, you you see so many people that you know or or know of or whatever, you know, and uh, you just have that moment. You're like, oh my, it's so weird when you're not on a screen. You're right here, you know. But uh, yeah, old well, media, new media. I mean, we were thanks, Ray, my Green. We were hanging out with uh, Bruce <laughs> Bruce Bochy <Bochin's laughs> with us last Green. night. Yeah, I. Uh, I talked to I talked Dusty about Baker walked by a restaurant last night. We were at Lou and uh, Lou and Mickey's of Steakhouse over by Petco Park, and Dusty came walking by, waving to people. Nothing, I mean, it's no, everybody. If you're in baseball, you're here. Nothing beats when we ran into AJ Hinch though. A couple years ago. Oh yeah, we we're banging trash cans behind him. It was really oh, uncomfortable. It was oh. uncomfortable for him, not for us. But it was uncomfortable for him. He got, he would literally get fired right after that. <laughs> we were at the end of AJ Hinch's <laughs> Astros <laughs> career. 2009. Oh yeah, Cody was getting drunk with uh, David Ross in the in the bar in 2019. Rossi became our good friend. It's amazing who you run into when you're here. You know, if something happened to this hotel, I mean, I don't want to say bad things, but like, what would baseball do? How would baseball? Baseball go? coverage would be a over. Anybody who covers, I feel like anybody who covers baseball is yeah. here right now. I, I, this the, is a high security, high profile security event. You in, know, in the baseball geek world. This is everybody's favorite event. They like this better than the World Series, the so, All Star Game. Can I just tell you though that that's kind of why I I don't like it. Yeah, it's not it's not really for you. It seems like there's just so much uh, pol not politicking, but like glad handing and like uh, well, I people are searching for jobs. Jobs, I yeah. know. I I, I kind of sense that. And you know what this is like. This is what it's like. Have you ever covered a Final Four? 
No, uh, no. Okay, no. this is what the this is exactly what you're seeing here is the exact same thing as the final four without the games. <laughs> Because at the final four, that's, what an event. Like, that's like their convention. Everybody at the final four, all coaches are trying to get jobs and you're trying to get into the industry and you're trying to, yeah, that's what this is. And I like it's the a job. I fair. respect the hustle. I really do, but I don't know. And maybe I just passed. I don't know. Maybe my younger years, I would have been part of it. Well, you've been working for the same company for 14 years. I, so you I don't, don't know. Well, there, I, the rest of us got to move around. Nowadays, no, I'm just saying nowadays there's a better way to maybe like not cold drop in on somebody's conversation like me and you were talking and then all of a sudden i've because i saw this somebody walks right in hi i'm so and so nice to meet you i want to hit here's my card here's my my demo reel on a usb drive here's what it's like whoa like i don't know wait that happened to us today some uh young really call, was, he wasn't in college i think he was out of college came up the rain trying to get a job for ace cast uh, he yeah essentially hey. he was trying to get it how to get into industry and work for us if i if i'm if Did i'm he looking know what ace cast was i don't <laughs> I don't think so, but he, I think he wanted the job in pro sports. And he saw us. He goes, he did a seminar or something yesterday, and they, they talked about how we were here. Ace Cast was here. They mentioned us by name. So he came up to look for us. We've actually become like the the, the darling of the You've industry. got the number one baseball podcast, right? So, And a lot of people in the Bay, you know, it's funny. It's like when we're here, everybody, like we walk through the lobby, people know who we are. Back home in the Bay Area, there's a lot of people who have no, they're just, you know. They don't get it. Like in in our in the in the baseball world, we're kind of like the hot hot new thing. Hey, keep plugging away. You're ahead of your time. That you know what it is. You're ahead of your time. Well, keep keep my name I... and keep my resume. You have my resume still, right? Cody? Yeah, it's around. Yeah. Um, John, yeah, it's I, around. I, I think I could talk to my boss. He might know who you are. Yeah, there, you guys wanted the Aaron Judge update from John Heyman. Is he um, here? Is he not coming now? Is he here? Giants are in with a big offer to Judge, believed to be 360 million neighborhood, but the assumption belief among rivals is that the Yankees remain the favorites. Yankees are hopeful, but say they still don't know. Is he? Did he tweet that from down the hall? Where I is, think so. I mean, this is 1054. This is literally right now. Ken did that. Uh, this was John Heyman. Oh, John. He also reported that Trey Johnny, Turner's deal was three forty two. Where are you, Johnny? The, what? The Padres offered Turner three forty two. Where are they getting this money? I know. How's it possible? I know. I saw that earlier. I, I heard you guys talking about that too. But. All right. Let, let me. Let me. The the thing here you you asked earlier. Yeah, Judge going to the Giants would be a awful nightmare for us. It sucks that we have to look at it that way. I I couldn't honestly. I couldn't care less. It I would take I, all the coverage. He's not going. Is he alone? Let's say they get him. What's going to happen there? They're going to sell a bunch of judge hats. They're going to have a judge's chamber thing somewhere in the left center. Field. Oh, I, I don't they'll know, have a giraffe They're, hat, they'll, a panda they'll, hat. They, will, they oh. will market the oh. living you-know-what out of it. And then are they going to win the West this year? No. Are they, they have a good team to put around them? No. I mean, they still have Buster, right? No. Brandon Belt's good to go next year, right? No. Marvin Bernard's not walking through that Marvin. door. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. And even if Rich really is his best friend, who Richie's great. I feel like Rich, Colleague. Could, Rich could still do it. He's got soft hands. You know. Colleague at uh, NBC. Um, yeah, I, I just. I love Richie. But, and that, see, it just goes to show we cross boundaries here. Talked to Bruce Bochy last night. I love Tim Flannery. Uh, a lot of the Giants people that I've met firsthand over the years. Great, great people. But as for but I hate as him. for as for I hate him. the aura that surrounds them and the, going back to the judge thing, like this would be this. I feel like the finger would somehow be pointed back at us. I say us like like we're on the team or something, but you know, yeah, we're the ones that cover. No, there's no oh, there's no question. You guys don't do that. Well, yeah, you, yeah, we we'll never have, and then and all never the, will. And, and like all the coverage, especially like where you work. Because I do A's, where you work would all be even. It's even more, even more giant centric would be even crazier. Yeah, thank you for saying that. <laughs> I'll say it for you. Thank you for I, saying that. I'm just the backup. Chris Townsend, cares. Just, Chris Townsend just said that. <laughs> I am just sitting here. They expect me to say. Oh wait, you, they can see me. Well, I, I don't think they're ever going to call me to do Giants pregame live. That's you know what? That's why even me being here, if, if if something happens on Wednesday with Judge and I'm the only one here, they'll be like, you know what? We'll figure something else out. Don't you stay away from it. Uh, yeah, no, I, I I just I know that's the biggest deal here. You know what? It's crazy that like Sean Murphy literally is the second biggest deal here. Well, right now, all the, He's, all the keep early news Twitter. today is Sean Murphy. I keep looking at Twitter and there's two things trending. Uh, Judge, the Padres earlier. And look, there it is. 
Well, Soto is trending. Um, okay, Jeter's trending, but there it is. Sean Jeter's Murphy right trending? there. Yeah. This we is have... this is the world. What, what's he trending for? That's the new thing in our world. What's he trending well, for? <laughs> so over it. Uh, thank you for stopping Absolutely. by. Absolutely. Good luck. Good luck on uh, good luck on 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 your uh, exclusive with Rob Manfred. We can't wait to watch it on your YouTube. I channel. got sh- I got I got shut down. Hey, wait, is he having a press conference? He was supposed to be doing something right in here. So if you hang around, you might get him right now. Just tackle him. Oh, that's what great. I was. No, I was gonna go ambush him. Like it'd be great right now. All right, well, I'm gonna go do that. The great Brody Thanks Brazil. For the info. Appreciate Up it, next, buddy. we're gonna talk to June Lee from ESPN. What is he hearing right here from the winter meetings? It's A's Cast Live.